Hi everyone, welcome to the sixth episode of Printing Case Sharing. The subject we are about to discuss is improved sleep apnea and temporal joint disorder. This brace is a special order from our foreign client. Our newest flagship just came up with the brand new INPA technology. Use water soluble support material to print can produce a very precise and delicate object. Like the mask from the previous episode. If you haven't seen that video, go check the link on the right corner. Back to the topic. The point of silicone braces is it needs to be connected to the user perfectly. The braces need to be matched with every tooth. It sounds very complicated. The whole point is the sophistication of the object. How do we set the parameter and adjust the slicing in order to print the perfect object? That is the topic of today's video. Let's get started! First, as you can see from the catalog, we've got four different categories. Number one, case description. Second, case introduction. Third, analyzing the case. Fourth, demonstration video. Case description. What is sleep apnea? Sleep apnea is sleep disorder. Patients are asleep due to inability to breathe during sleep, resulting in sleep apnea. They often wake up in their sleep and return to normal breathing after waking up. This situation can happen multiple times within one night. The patient might not notice. The disease incidence of male is twice to eight times than female. At least one person has sleep anipia in every 20 persons. The disease incidence of elderly people is 10%. Other like tonsil hypertrophy, obesity, nasal bone displacement, short jaw, smoking, drinking alcohol, and taking sleeping pills are more likely to have sleep apnea. The symptoms of sleep apnea including snoring, high blood pressure, decreased concentration, and decreased cognitive ability. The patient couldn't get a decent sleep due to intermittently waking up. It could cause symptoms like decreased concentration and lack of energy and then affect their work or daily life. There are three types of sleep apnea. Obstructive sleep apnea, central sleep apnea, and mixed sleep apnea. Obstructive sleep apnea is the most common one. 90% of the patients are obstructive sleep apnea. You can divide the patients into three categories, mild, moderate, and severe, based on their symptoms. Obstructive sleep apnea occurs due to collapse or obstruction of the airways during sleep. Central sleep apnea is when the brain influenced by stroke, trauma, or other reasons, brain couldn't function properly. Mixed sleep apnea is when the patient has both obstructive sleep apnea and central sleep apnea. What causes sleep apnea? Most of the time, the patient tends to sleep with the head leaned back. This position causes the jaw to go back and the tongue to go down then obstruct the airways and then causing snoring and sleep apnea. If you want to stop snoring, slightly move forward your head while you are asleep. 
This position can let the mouth close naturally and use nose to breathe. Make sure the airways are unblocked is the best way to prevent sleep apnea. Although the temporal joint disorder might be innate, therefore the patient needs to wear sleep apnea therapeutic device if they have innate temporal joint disorder. Recently, there are more people willing to accept anti-snoring braces rather than traditional treatment, which is CPAP. The reason includes great adaptability and convenience. Also, you can talk and drink while wearing it. Therefore, we've got a special order from a professional dental laboratory in USA to produce a customized, high accuracy, biomedical approved and flexible anti-snoring braces with our equipment. As I mentioned above, the patients tend to sleep leaning their heads back. When they do that, the jaw and tongue pull back and block the airways. The purpose of anti-snoring braces is to move the jaw forward by dragging the soft palate and wall muscle. Open the upper airways and let the air into the lungs smoothly. Very suitable for mild and moderate patients. Advantages including easy to carry and low foreign object sensation. Next. Introducing the main character of this video, sleep appliance. We set the height as 0.2 millimeters. We use 0.25 millimeters nozzle and 0.4 millimeters support material nozzle. We choose these two bigger diameter nozzles to save material and time. The total process takes about four and a half hours. The speed is about 20 to 30 millimeters one second. For those who are not familiar with our newest model S300, we choose S300 to print this object. S300 is a two-part silicone printer with large printing range. The most significant feature of S300 is it can work with water-soluble materials. And with INPA technology, the nozzles won't interfere with each other while working. Using water-soluble materials as support can make a very delicate object and reduce raw edge. All of our models use fan printing technology. Fame is a printing technology specifically designed for 3D printer. It provides with platform and nozzle automatic correction, automatic switch valve to reduce raw edge and waste. Next is analyzing the case. As I mentioned above, this object needs to cover patient's teeth entirely. Therefore, we need to reduce the tolerance in every tooth. Because it's fluidity, we need to use the support materials to cover the object in order to prevent the object from deforming. We add a cap above the object to make sure the support materials can cover the object. The thickness and density of the material needs to be tested previously. Reduce the possibility of deforming and processing time. This way is to make sure we can get the ideal outcome. This picture is the slicing preview of the object. The cap is for software to determine the area of support. The object is covered with support material to fix the shape. After it's done, Take out the object and wash it. Here you get a dedicated silicone 3D printing braces. Next part is demonstration video.
The above is the theme of our silicone braces improve sleep apnea and temporal joint disorder case sharing. If you like our video, you can follow our social platforms. I will link them down below. We are very active in these social platforms. If you like our channel, please click the thumbs up, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to click the bell for our latest updates. Thank you everyone for your support. Your support is the power to let us keep making more high quality video. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Or if you want further information, please feel free to contact us by adding our official LINE account. That is the end of today's video. Thank you everyone for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.